As I've gotten more interested into virtual production and not just being a one-trick uni pony, uh, Unreal Engine has been catching my eye. And with the Tallow Earth Day competition along with the Chain Letter Jam, I thought what a better time to learn. So I became the Earth. What this video will mainly be about is me learning how to use Unreal to create a cinematic uh, for the platform Tallow about Earth Day. I was nominated for the Chain Letter Jam as well, which I only just realized after checking Twitter after like a month. Um, so I tried to make a game with it too. At the time of recording this, I really haven't made much progress on the game, uh, so don't expect too much from that. For the purposes of the competition, we had to complete this Unreal course about making a cinematic, which is very helpful, as well as do our research into Earth Day about potential issues and solutions we wanted to talk about. So I spent about a week doing that, and then I started to get into the thick of things. Like I mentioned at the beginning, one of the reasons why I wanted to get into Unreal specifically is because of their expansion into virtual production. Virtual production, how I see it, is essentially using uh, real-time rendering engines like Unreal uh, to you know, render virtual elements in camera, to comp in uh, elements into real-world footage, and a bunch of other cool movie making and cinematic making functionality. The experts like the people at ILM who worked on The Mandalorian, which really inspired me to get into this stuff, uh, can explain it and do it much better, <laughs> better. Um, but I wanted to get my feet wet. There are two main aspects of virtual production I wanted to focus on for this. One being doing facial motion capture using Live Link, and the other is 3D scanning a face using Bellus 3D. For the iPhone 10 and above, they have a true depth camera technology, which essentially allows you to record facial capture data right from your phone. And what's even better is Unreal has an app called LiveLink, which allows you to take that facial capture data, record it, and put it onto their metahuman characters. And what's even better is that you're able to do this in real time. So that's where I got up to during this time. I got the uh, template metahumans product up and running, got that connected with LiveLink, and I was able to record my face live uh, onto the metahuman characters. Unfortunately, I had some troubles getting the metahuman and LiveLink stuff working into my cinematic project. So I ended up just recording my face and comping that in uh, afterwards instead of using the actual uh, metahuman characters. And although I didn't get it working as much as I like, I'm super excited to get more into it uh, because recently Unreal just announced early access for their metahuman creator um, program, which allows you to create your own metahumans that are rigged and customized to potentially look like me, uh, which would be pretty cool. I have early access to that. I haven't tried it yet, um, but I'm really interested in looking more to that. And it'd also be cool to experiment with like a corridor-like setup where I can do better facial uh, motion capture as well as potentially body motion capture. I have an HTC Vive and there's potential to do stuff with that. The other aspect I actually didn't get into the cinematic was using Bellus 3D face app. Again, for the iPhone 10 and above, it allows you to take a 3D scan of your head and it creates a model and texture out of it in literally a minute. I was super impressed with the quality of the texture, uh, and, and the model is pretty good as well. And after a little bit of cleanup and the decimate modifier in Blender, I got a nice model of my head. My stretch goal was to get this head rigged and into Live Link so I could actually record facial motion capture data onto it, uh, but that was a big stretch because I don't know anatomy, uh, or rigging that well, or Unreal, or Bellus, so it, was, it didn't happen. But honestly, for only a dollar, it was pretty sweet to get a model of my head. This has got to be, like, the creepiest but coolest thing. Like, it's literally, it's me. Like, the, the camera's literally picking up. This is the face. It's crazy. Now, for the actual cinematic, I didn't really do anything special because it's my first time getting into Unreal. My idea was to focus on the planet Earth itself and in the voiceover talk about uh, different issues like deforestation, air pollution, and waste in the ocean. I created most of the low poly models using Blender and I followed along with the CG Geek tutorial to create the actual Earth. I had storyboarded how I wanted the cinematic to look, essentially a still shot of the Earth rotating and the models appearing and disappearing on it. I would then overlay my face on top to show that we are the Earth. And I'm gonna assume that I was at fault for this because I'm new to Unreal, but I was having issues with scaling where when I set keys in the cinematic, it would reset for whatever reason, so the models that I had coming in and out of the Earth by scaling didn't end up showing up after. And it, it was pretty heartbreaking, not gonna lie, because I didn't know exactly what was going wrong. Um, so I ended up having to change my original vision just to have two models on the side that appear and disappear. Despite this, I think it still turned out pretty good. 
After recording myself saying the script, removing the green screen in After Effects, and adding a few sound effects, the cinematic was done. Now, like I said, I really haven't done much on the game because this video is later than usual already, um, and I want to get something out. So I started with the Unreal Flying template, which essentially has a spaceship that you're able to fly around in 3D space. Now, although I love node-based systems like in Unity Shader Graph, I found it confusing when it came to uh, coding, which is Unreal's one of Unreal systems for coding, which is the Blueprint system. You can do straight C++ code, um, but I tried out Blueprints and I was having a little bit of difficulty. I was getting stuck with doing text references and updating stuff um, in real time, um, but now that I got a little bit into it, it's a little bit less intimidating. A lot of the panels and functionality is pretty similar to Uni, which is really nice, aside from the actor uh, and blueprint system. I'll hopefully have at least some sort of game to show you, but uh, don't, don't expect much. Overall, it was super fun to learn Unreal Engine. There is so much to learn, and although Uni and Strung by 3 will be my focus for now, at least for the, this month, um, this is something I, I really want to get more into. Also, I gotta shout out Skeffles. He recently just released his game Product Torum, and if you love tower defense games, you'll love his. As well as A Wander's We Stop Asian Hate Game, which sends a really great message. Both of those will be linked in the description below. And if you like seeing this sort of stuff, which is a little bit different for me, uh, please leave me a comment. Uh, if you have any tips, <laughs> that would be appreciated as well. So thank you for watching. I love you forever, and I'm coming back next month.